Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Micah J, Micah So Juicy here with another video for you guys. Um, today we're gonna be, I'm gonna be taking you along with a small day in the life of a body contour specialist. If I sound like Hulk or an ogre, it's okay. I just woke up. I normally don't take clients this early, but I'm taking her because she has things to do. So hopefully she'll let me film. I didn't ask her yet, but she's supposed to be coming in about like five minutes. So I'm just going to show kind of what I do um, for a regular appointment. She's not uh, new, she's a regular. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I'm doing, set the camera up here and there sometimes. And then I'll show you how I prepare for my next client and what I do in between. Uh, yeah, if you want to, if we leave right at 7 30. Yeah, we have everything done, and just as soon as I get off, just take off. Yeah, okay. all right, bye. Okay, so before she comes, or before my clients come, I usually will set up this little heater right here because, um, girl, don't laugh at me, it's really cold in here, and I don't have any like uh vents or anything so i'll set up the heater right here just to kind of heat up the bed before they get here <laughs> um yeah and then i'll just kind of turn on my machine and then yeah that's pretty much it i'll just turn on my my music sometimes i have this pillow spray right here and i'll pillow spray everything so So my client said that she got caught in a little traffic. Hold on. My client said she got caught in a little traffic. So when that happens, so when that happens, that's like completely fine with me. Um, it will take away from their appointment. Or if I really don't have anybody afterwards, I'm fine with you know a couple minutes late. But until then, I just kind of get all their paperwork. Um, ready because I do measure them at every appointment to see what their last um, measurements were you know just lollygag around stuff like that <laughs> oh yeah I forgot to guys I forgot to show you guys this is what I usually put on in the morning I'll put on like a scrub top like I'll put on like a scrub top uh, I'm cold so I put on like a hoodie underneath and then I just put on some leggings, something comfortable. I'm always in my socks or my shoes. And then, of course, I usually have a mask on. I just leave my hair up. Sometimes I put it down. Um, I just got it done because I'm going to Mexico. So, I'm going to leave it down. Okay, so my client is now, I would say, 10 minutes late. She told me she ran into traffic. So, at a time like this, I'll probably go make me something to eat or get me something to drink. Um, I don't have time to leave, but I do have something in the refrigerator that I can drink a little bit before she comes. Probably eat some fruit or something. So, yeah, let's go do that. Yes. So, as I was speaking to Mr. Hawkins, I Right when I was about to eat, my client has came. Alexa, play R&B music. Looney, babe, Looney's here. Oh my God, guys, hold on. Oh my God, guys, my dog is out. I'm so sorry, my dog is out. Uh, my other dog, he's she's friendly. Looney's very friendly, but my my dog dog the yorkie uh -huh. she hates so i'm waiting on my boyfriend to come i'm sorry i think oh, no, she's it's, it's fine girl i'm vlogging too I, I don't know if you want to be on camera i'm vlogging be exactly crazy okay let me get my oil and get started it like disappeared from me oh there it is okay so i'm gonna put you on the red lamp first real quick like i did last time let's get to work 
Yeah, did you see your picture that yes. I sent you? You literally, like, you could see a big difference just from that one little session. Yeah, I was telling my cousin because she was telling me how she down to a 34. I'm like, huh? Yeah. Yes, girl, you gonna go down too. We're gonna measure you today. You remember what your measurements were the first time? 40. 40. And then okay. 37, I think you said, 30. or 38. Oh, I think. I think it was 38. We'll see today. Okay. I think you said 38 though. 38. Okay, so two. you should be okay. around 37 today after we're done. We'll see. Did you eat anything this morning? No. No? Okay, good. I haven't even drank up yet. I was like, let me get some water. Then I was trying to hurry up and I forgot it on the table. <laughs> I got some water in there too if you want some before I leave. Okay. I'm running stuff because I know. Guys, I am warming her up with this red light therapy lamp. I'm just doing like a small little lymphatic massage um, to start her off with, and then I'm gonna start tightening her a little more on her back area. So that's what I'm doing. So when I'm finished with that, I will see you guys after. Just working. Open this just a little bit for right now. Alright guys, I'm doing a little vacuum therapy on her. Vacuum, yeah, vacuum therapy on her. Uh, we're just going upwards right here because this area is, she said that, she, well, I can see that it sags a little more because she got lipo up here. So we're just going to move upwards to firm her skin. And this is good for eliminating water retention as well. Hopefully you guys can hear me with the machine. It's good at eliminating water retention. So we're going to go upwards up here and then down here. Kind of go towards the back a little bit. This can be pinchy for some of your clients. I have it on the lowest setting right now, so she's good. Alright guys, now I'm tightening her on her sides. Um, my client has gotten a tummy tuck lipo 360 and she needs a little tightening. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using the RF tool right here. And we're just going to tighten her and her areas that she wants to be tightened, which is kind of upper bra area. Kind of her whole back that she wants tightened. So that's what we're doing today. I already put her on the red light, ther right, red light therapy as you guys seen. But now I'm just going to tighten and tighten and tighten. Sometimes you guys can go fast circles or you can go circle circles or you can go more of the stroke area. I'm just gonna do circular motions clockwise. And then down here, I'll go kind of back and forth. So. All right guys, I am finished. Come on, get in here. I'm finished with my client. She only had a couple minutes, but it was a good, oh my God. I have another client coming around 12, yeah, 12 o'clock. So for now, I'm just gonna go find something to eat and relax until my next client comes. Um, so yeah. This comes in handy, y'all. This huge, huge um, ultrasonic gel. 
it lasts me about like three months like three four months so if you don't know this is on amazon and it's really good things to get i also use this to prop their legs up so i usually just leave this at the end of the bed and then this is all my paperwork all of my um consent forms everything is all in here so i usually will have a blank one on a board like this and i'll just have it here for when they come in they can sit down and then they can fill it out i usually clean my machine when my clients are on the laser rifle pads uh, because they are relaxing so today i'm just gonna extra clean them for my next client um and yeah i clean inside i clean each tool of course like you're supposed to and i just get a little extra prepared for the next next one i use uh how do i clean i use water sometimes i use uh like disinfecting wipes um, but i make sure it's completely dry afterwards i clean the handles because the handles can get very gritty <laughs> I did a quick room tour already, but I just want to show you guys my my room. I'm moving literally in a week, so this is kind of crazy. When I do ice sculpting, I get like stains everywhere, so don't mind that. But anyways, here is my table right here, uh, my machine. I put this wall up with uh, black poster boards so you can see oil stains everywhere for me like spraying oil and stuff but we're gonna do a whole entire redo so yeah this is um my room here's my machine my certificate i have waist beads that i sell as well um that i just hang up i have my fat burning cream right here and then uh i just have white curtains up hanging everywhere um, floor to ceiling curtains and then over here i just have a little area where i have a humidifier don't mind my camera <laughs> Um, I usually have like mints and stuff in here, but they clean them out. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. They ha I have like, yeah, I have like LED lights glowing as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my little, my little mini suite. I have a lamp over here, I have a little thing down there. And then I did the flooring myself to put like little vinyl flooring mirror right here. But that is it for a day in my life. I might do part two. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more videos.